so let's go up here. Oh, it's bones, okay. Alright. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. My ghost will give you the scare of your life. <laughs> Alright. What's up, guys? Floodmon14. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, and just a heads up, uh, this might be a bonus episode. Because <laughs> uh, the main thing we're trying to trigger is the uh, the next event. Um, for some reason, it didn't trigger the, uh, the last time I was doing this. But uh, I got some feedback from you guys in the comments, and I, I definitely appreciate that. Let's see my first turn here. I think we'll go with Morphing Jar, yeah? That sounds good. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I actually made, like, about, like, uh, about, like, three or four different save states before this episode. Just because, yeah, if, you know, if we don't get the event this time for whatever reason, uh, yeah, I can just load a save state back. Easy peasy. So, alright. Let's get a clam on. And I went with the uh, the Earth deck in this one, so, you know, Goblin Attack Force, stuff like that. The DD Warriors, yeah. Alright, we both might take a lot of damage here, honestly. Yeah, from my uh, Skull Invitation, so keep an eye on that. But uh, the way I'm going to try to do it, <clears throat> and I hope it works this way, is to stay here in the... Uh, uh, what did I face down? Is to stay here in the second city. And uh, oh, we drew Mirror Force Sweet. Uh, I, I mean, I guess Ultimate Offering is better than taking uh, <laughs> uh, 1500 direct. So, uh, yeah, let's just play. <laughs> let's play Assailant in defense mode, see if he's dumb enough to attack it. Okay, not the brightest tool in the shed there, Bones. Play Robin Goblin. That worked out. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, my, pl my plan for this one is to try staying in the second city, see if that works. Uh, and if not, then we'll, uh, we'll figure something else out, so, as far as the event goes. And in fact, like in this one, we might not have time for it, I don't know. Just depends, you know. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, did he play Pot of Greed? Hmm, nope. Actually, I might not want to take the 2k damage in this one. Uh, uh let's play Tune Table of Contents. I actually won't thin like I normally do, because he does have Skull Invitations, so... Uh, Gemini Elf. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, we'll have to take the 300. Uh, as far as his field goes... Yeah, we got Mirror Force, we can be a little aggressive. Goblin Attack Force. Yeah, what you gonna do about that, Bones? Hehe. <laughs> Alright, and we'll attack with, uh... Media Assailant into this one. Okay. Doesn't look like he's got anything, so... We're good. Yeah! Uh... But we'll try to see, uh... Yeah, if the event goes through just cause... Maybe it wasn't the first night or something? Uh... <laughs> But if it doesn't, or for whatever reason, then uh, I guess enjoy this bonus episode, because I'm going to post it regardless, because I already... Oh! Skull Lair. Yeah, he does like that card. I remember now, Bones. But, yeah, I'm going to post it regardless, because uh, I'm already commentating anyway. What? Oh, he destroyed uh, Needy Assailant instead. That's actually a smart choice by the AI, surprisingly. Because, uh, yeah, Goblin Force will just go to defense, and it'll be stuck there for a little while, so, yeah. Kind of makes sense to get rid of something that can attack, you know, every turn, so. Not bad, Bones, not bad. I'm slightly impressed, you know. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go with... I guess I can just revive it back, though. Call the Haunted? Yeah. And we'll set a Mirror Force. Okay, Bones. Your move, buddy. Alright. Curse? That actually helps me out quite a bit. You probably shouldn't have played that, bro. I'm just saying. Because that's what's just my force back to attack mode, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, not a problem either. Because, uh, yeah, at the end of your turn, I can play... Where's Call the Haunted? Right here. Yeah. 
I can play Call of the Haunted. And since my uh, warrior lady is summoned during your turn, I can attack with it during my turn. So yeah, and Vengeful Vox Spirit stops him from, uh, kind of stops him from destroying Goblin Attack Force altogether, so yeah, I don't know about that, Bones, I don't know. Not a good move, buddy. Alright, I will attack with Force first, because he might have the castle. Okay, okay, okay. You know, doesn't hurt to be sure, because he's only got one card in his hand, so I want to get rid of it. Yeah, take you a three head of damage. <laughs> That's the nice thing about dueling bones, isn't it? In this game, is uh, yeah, he can kind of speed up the duel for you. You know, if you want to just throw like a needle worm and stuff like that in your deck. I mean, well, I don't know. Does he have despair from the dark? I don't know. I don't know if he has it in this game or in uh, some other games, but I remember in one game he does have despair from the dark in case you. Uh, I think he has fear from the dark in another game too. In case you try to like meal him, then you'll actually help him out a bunch. So it's crazy. Uh, okay, that's fine. You're getting rid of all your banished targets, my man. So yeah, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. And with skull imitation up, oh wow, we win. Oh no, wait, no, wait. He has a yeah, he has vengeful box bear. Right, right, right. Okay, well you know what? I'll summon this two goblin attack force. <laughs> all right, all right. And we'll attack with uh, Assailant. Use Robin Goblin to get that last card out of your hand. And then uh, you can't have anything go to the graveyard, bro, because you got Skull Invitation. Uh, another Zank, yeah, huh? <laughs> all right. All right, we'll pass. What you got, bro? Uh, you just lost. <laughs> Oh man, that has to suck. Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine if you drew like the two best cards in this deck. Like, I don't know, uh, Mirror Force and I don't know, Graceful Charity. Dude, that would suck. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we got 86 DP. Not bad. Kaipor points. Uh, I lost. Yeah, you did, bro. Okay, let's see who else is over here. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to duel, you know, kind of like we normally do. Uh, but if not, one of the things I will try next time is just kind of like, you can go like back and forth between, you know, like the game shop in your house. Um, you know, just to kind of pass time. So that's the plan. In case it just, this doesn't work for whatever reason, so. All right, Bones round two, bro. In fact, like, uh, after these two duels, I might just do that anyway, just in case. Mmm, <clears throat> good hand. Snake here, huh? That's kind of annoying. Okay, I'm guessing he has Skull Invitation again. A lot of face downs. Uh, Robin Zombie. Hmm, okay. Um, I could get rid of his stuff and try it, but... I'm not too worried, to be quite frank. Uh, we'll play Gaia Power. First turn, man. <laughs> I guess there's no MST over there. And that was our turn, so... Alright, I'm gonna get the drink. <laughs> Tributing, huh? I can only assume that's like, uh... Pumpkin or Xanthi or something. We'll grab Pot of Greed here. It may take me a little while to find it, so let's see. Pot of Greed. There we go. Bam. Alright. Um, I guess I might as well summon in main phase two, because he does have a uh, Bog Spirit out, so there's really no point. I mean, I don't think he has Mirror Force, but, you know, if someone is putting up a stall strategy like that, yeah, that is like the best thing you can do is just, you know, <sighs> just attack first and then summon in uh, main phase too. Because, you know, your summon monster can't attack anyway, so might as well do that. And it was Pumpkin, so maybe he has Call of the Haunted, though. He, he seems to like that a lot. Curse of Fiend. Okay. Uh, wow, he's got nothing. 
Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier on us. Uh, try infecting virus. Let's go. Uh, let me be careful here. Attack mode. Attack mode. And we'll play the allied forces. Give our monsters a little bit of a boost. Alright. Um, Casey does have call. Uh, Gemini Elf, you're first. Alright. Not bad. Okay. Command Knight should be boosted to like. Yeah, 2000? Yeah. 400 from herself and 400 from uh, A Forces. So. Uh, I think Trap can attack now, right? Oh, no, 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 because yeah, he has Box Spirit. Right. Okay. We got you next turn, though, Bones. Ring? Oh, okay. Okay. Ring de Destruction. Oh, let's just play Pot of Greed for a little fun. Draw two. What we got? Man, not bad, not bad. Alright, I'll set this, like, just in case. Alright. So, I think we have Exec with, uh... Yeah, with Tribe and uh, Command Knight. We have exactly zero, so... Very good. This one wasn't too hard, so that's good. Alright. I don't know what that last face down was, but maybe it was, No, it, it, it can't be Skull Invitation, right? Because we've got a... Uh, yeah, he's got four monsters in his graveyard, so surely he would have played it if it was a... Uh, hmm. If it Oh, I mean later. Yeah, if it was Skull Lair, he surely would have played it, but... Okay, not bad. 90 for that one. Huh, you'll never finish me off. Zombies keep coming back over and over. Oh, is something happening in here? Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Looks like I won't have to record this again. Uh, I've come for you. Okay. Huh? <laughs> I guess that's my character, huh? The tournament pre -part, final pre-party will begin shortly, so I'll take you to Kaiba Mansion. Alright, let's do it, Roland. Let's go, bro. Alright, so we take the train over to the next city. I guess you do have to be in this city, maybe? Or maybe it just occurs like two nights after the... I don't know. Oh, whatever. Let's go to the Kaiba Mansion. What's going to happen here? Ah, some nice music. Let me turn this up a bit. There we go. Uh, I've been waiting for you. Alright. Finalists, come this way. Alright, let's go. I wonder who all's here. Hmm, probably some main characters, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you'd also make the finals, Flood. Hey, Joey. I'm looking forward to dueling you in the final tournament. Yeah, look, it's about to stop, buddy. Ahem. I'd like to welcome all the Expert Cup finalists to this special party. Ah, cool. I'm honored you all were all able to attend. Okay. Mr. Kaiba has some special words he would like to share. It's my privilege to introduce Mr. Seto Kaiba. Roland, wait! Uh, what's up, Mokuba? Before my big brother speaks, I have something to say. I'll destroy all of you. I'm the strongest duelist here. Yeah, okay. Of course, Mr. Mokuba. Welcome, duelist. <laughs> my plans are ready to proceed, and now I'll become better than my big bro. It begins now. Plan. Uh, what are you talking about, little brother? <laughs> Seto. M Mokuba, what's wrong with you? Uh, epic music. Oh! And we recognize this person. Mokuba? Who's Mokuba? State your name now. Shut your mouth and listen, Seto. The best duelists are here in one place. This is the perfect moment. Look outside. Notice anything different? Uh... Duelists, can you figure out what's going on? Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know, I don't know. But obviously, I don't know what the plan for the Expert Cup was, but this wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, 
<laughs> Before I forget, Saito, I've borrowed someone that you care more about than anyone else in the world. Someone I care about. Who could it be? I don't care about anyone except my money. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You brat. What did you do with Mokuba? <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to find out, Kaiba boy. But it all, it, what happens to him all depends on you, Seto. Let me spell it out for you. So what's going on here? We're going to play a little game. Oh boy. My minions are scattered all around the city, so it's kind of a scavenger hunt? Kind of. Fetch quest. Can you find and defeat them all? Uh, and by minions, I'm assuming he means, you know, Crump, uh, Gansley, Lecter, you know, those guys. A game. I don't have time for your silly games. Tell me where my brother is now, and then you won't be sorry. Seto, you need to check your attitude. You don't want me to get upset. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Oops, I forgot one thing. In this game, the fate of the world's in your hands. What do you mean, bro? You ain't got no millennium items or nothing. I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Rip up my trading cards? I mean, that would make me mad. That would make me mad. If you don't win before the time runs out, there's a price. A heavy price. A time? What? What are you talking about? Kaiba Corp has its fair share of dark secrets, and I'm going to exploit it by posting it on Twitter. You would dare. Dark Secrets. Oh, I guess that's me thinking that? Yeah, Dark Secrets. What do you mean? When your stepfather, Gozuburo Kaiba, was running Kaiba Corp, he had a master plan. Uh, okay. Kaiba Corp was in a game company. Like, yeah, yeah, that is true. Like, we found out a lot of that in Season 3. Like, it was a weapons manufacturing industrial complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gozuburo was planning to control the world with military weapons. Top grade. Kaiba Corp was supposed to sell weapons worldwide to secretly manipulate the world's governments and to get a lot of money, you know, obviously because that's needed for this kind of plan, but isn't that right, Seto? How do you know all this? <laughs> Man, his face looks really shocked right there. In fact, if I recall correctly, Kaiba Corp was making military satellites. But that doesn't matter now. When I took over the company for my stepfather, I ended all military research and destroyed the satellites. Ha <laughs> ha You're the president of Kaiba Corp and you don't even know what's going on in your company. Huh. There's still one military satellite left. Huh. I can easily hack into the satellite and take it over. With one laser blast, I can wipe out this entire city from space. Uh, like, a laser blast from space? Wouldn't you wipe out more than a city? Like, wouldn't you wipe out, you know, we're talking about, like, countries, I mean, like, or the entire planet? That sounds bad. Now, Duelist, haha, <laughs> the game's begun. Try to find me and my minions, and even if you do find us, can you defeat us all? Ha 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 ha. Disappeared. Indeed, he did. Uh, so yeah, worst party ever. Am I right? Uh, one thing you will notice is like, yeah, like look in the. Uh, let me make this kind of a bigger screen here. Yeah, if you look like in the background and stuff, you see like kind of a. Uh, it almost looks like Aurora Borealis, you know, with the strange, strange clouds and lights in the sky. Yeah, that's gonna happen until you know you clear out everybody. So. What's up, Yami Yugi? What the heck is this, man? I didn't even get to try my souffle. I know, right, Joey? There's something wrong with the entire city. Indeed. So, uh, yeah. Alright, that's that. <clears throat> well, with that, let the hunt begin. Um, one thing I am going to do, though, before we start all that, is save the game. Because I don't want to do that again. Actually, in case the recording messes up, let me save right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Very good. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I could trigger that again. So, okay. Now, as far as the guys you want to find, uh, 
I'm pretty sure they're all in, uh, like none of them will be in the first city here, you know, the city you start out in the game. Uh, basically to find them all, you gotta go over here. Yeah, where the intense music will be playing, so. Pretty good music though. Uh, and we're looking for someone who should be pretty high leveled. Um, I think, oh, huh, surprised Tay is over here. But I think they'll be about, usually, uh, usually they'll be about like five, three or five stars, I think. Um, of course, those stars may be different because uh, I have done a lot of grinding in this game, so. Okay, so this one up north, or this one? One of them's probably Kaibo. One's probably the guy we're looking for. Let's go here. Oh, that's Rebecca, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, she has, like, really different dialogue here. Grr. Becoming disgusted in strange atmosphere completely. Right, Teddy? Huh. Whenever I feel weird, I just want to take... Totally take out a duelist. Too bad for you. Uh... Let's say no. I'm surprised we can say no to dueling her. But let's say no for now. That's weird. Uh, I guess some people will have different dialogue here, which is kind of interesting. I could go over some of that, but... Nah. Uh, let's try this person. Oh, it's her again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just... Uh, we'll skip her again if we can. Okay. Let's see. Trick of Dam. Yeah, so I guess it may, uh, you know, if you're doing these duels, yeah, it may help to register Rebecca beforehand. That way you don't, you know, you don't find her by accident. So, up north? Man. <laughs> That's pretty bad luck. All right, Rebecca. Uh, no. I do not want to do with you right now. <laughs> uh, mainly because her deck's, like, kind of a stall deck. And, you know. Um, one other thing you may notice is that, like, normally... Oh, at least I think this is the case. Let's see. Oh, is that her again? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, normally, um... You know, when it's this late at night, you'll return home. But I think, yeah, because of Plots of Foot, uh, you actually won't here. So maybe the person we're looking for is in the first city. That is a possibility. Uh, I think I've just been getting unlucky so far. So this time I'll just cheese it, though. There's Taya. Uh, let's see. Oh! Okay, an unknown person. Is this who we're looking for? No. Because we, we gotta be looking for a duelist, right? Oh, Shadow Game. Yeah, I for, kind of forgot these can happen too, but... Oh, well. Uh, I guess we'll duel the first person next time, then. Let the Shadow Game begin, Flattin' Boy. Alright, Pegasus, let's go, bro. Let's go. Tune versus Tune. <laughs> Alright. I'm down. I'm down for a Shadow Game. We got this. Shadow game time. Nice hand. Alright, Pegasus, I'll start off with one of your cards, Tune Table of Contents. Yeah. What do you think about that? Alright, grab another contents. And with the next one, we'll grab a uh, Goblin Attack Force. So. Stack pump. And, uh, win the turn. I guess in between episodes, I can look up where to find, uh, excuse me, where to find the first duelist. He may be actually in the second, in the first city after all. And I just don't remember this part well. Uh, let's go with. Command Knight. I'll obviously save MST for uh, 
his tomb problem. <laughs> play swords here too, but, you know. Toon Mass Sorcerer. I figured it was something like that. Now, uh, he most likely has a uh, escape build. But let's attack first. Ultimate Offering. That's equally problematic, but not really. I mean, because we will run him out of monsters, so... And that's definitely a good thing. Also, the fact that he already used it means he can't, uh, you know, summon at the end of our battle phase and then, like, attack with it next turn. That That's a pretty smart way to circumvent uh, the restriction of, of most Toon Monsters, you know, since they can't attack the turn they're summoned. But I don't think it's going to work here, mainly because we have swords, too. So. Toon Blue Eyes. All right. Sure, Barry. That's could be bad. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's it. All right. So we know in his hand he's got a uh, Toon World and Toon Blue Eyes. So not really a big issue. So. Yeah, but uh, pretty interesting as far as the plot goes, eh? Yeah. Seems like Noah kind of uh, crashed the party, so to speak. You know, uh, apparently he's got Mokuba hostage. I'm shocked, you know. Mokuba's never been taken hostage before, but uh, yeah, poor Mokuba. Uh, and um, apparently he likes playing his little game where we have to hunt all his cronies, so I wonder what's going on with that, you know? It's kind of... Oh, that's kind of weird, huh? Oh, that's it? Boy. Pegasus, that was uh, probably the easiest game we've had in the series. Well, I don't, I don't know. We did beat someone, like, really, really easily. That I can't remember off the top of my head, but... Bro, that was... Thank you. That was really easy. <laughs> All he did was play two two of his uh, two mass sorcerers, and he didn't do much else, man. All right. Over that, I think I'll end the episode after I show the points here, and then uh, yeah, in between I'll kind of save and stuff and figure out where we need to go. So sounds like a plan. Dang, 106 experience. Wow, that's a lot. All right. Gotcha. Yeah, it must be an accident. All right. All righty, guys. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me here. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for joining me. And uh, uh, next time we'll try to see if we can find uh, whoever Noah wants us to find. All right. See you guys all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>